In the last episode, we were raising the mast. The chain plates that I fitted earlier came without backing plates, but I managed to find some suitable pieces of metal from the local DIY store. It just needed a couple of new holes drilling. So I made a paper template to measure the hole positions and transferred these to the metal strips. Then I stuck the chain plates in place with some 3M marine sealant. I pushed the bolts through from the outside and fitted nuts and washers on the inside. Next I shortened the bolts that secure the tabernacle in place. I wanted to fit some nice big washers on these too, but the top one needed some modification so it would fit in against the top of the bulkhead. Having previously fitted the bow eye, I could now fill the remaining space in the forward buoyancy chamber. And then I fitted a hatch using 3M marine sealant I also fitted a little sealable drain plug to the bottom of the compartment. While I was at it, I fitted inspection hatches to the centerboard casing. I made some holes for the screws. then fitted a piece of tape so I'd be able to realign with the screw holes later on. I added three of marine sealant. and then was able to screw the hatch in place. I had bought these hatches to fit onto the backs of the Dorada boxes inside the cabin, uh, but I then realized I'd quite like to be able to adjust the amount of ventilation coming in. So I spotted these online, which are adjustable and look quite nice, but the hole's a bit too big that I've already cut. So I'm gonna to have to find a way of fitting these onto here. In order to make a mount for these, uh, I was thinking about using some offcuts of uh, this Akumi plywood, which I've got plenty of, um, but it's just a bit of a lighter color. I was looking for some superior that's big enough, but I've only got uh, these sort of fairly narrow offcuts. However, if I epoxy two of these together, and that will be big enough. So I mixed up some thickened epoxy resin and stuck the two pieces of sapili together. A couple of days later I was able to machine the wood down to the required thickness. Before marking the wood ready for cutting out.
I screwed the Sapili donuts onto the end of another piece of wood so I could route around the edge. I bought a second hand gooseneck which I needed to make a mounting block for, so again I used a piece of sapili. Mark the angles to match the sides of the gooseneck. And then cut these out on the bandsaw. I needed to cut a slot for the ridge in the centre of the gooseneck to fit into. But the saw slot wasn't quite wide enough so I needed to chisel a little bit more out. Yes, that's better. And then I gave these parts a coat of epoxy resin. It's always so enjoyable when the epoxy resin reveals the grain and the colour of the wood.